are the tips and tricks that can help you get started and help you get the maximum ROI out of out of lead share. <clears throat> So I have 10 points here in no specific order and uh, so the first thing that uh, you know is worth pointing out is that if you are a thought leader or an expert or you have certain kinds of specialized knowledge in your area then you have a great use case for using SlideShare. And actually, let me kind of fall back a little bit from SlideShare and talk about how search engines work. Is because search engines essentially are work on the same principle. When some when a user goes to Google and types a particular keyword, what the search engine is trying to do is that it has content on that particular keyword and it tries to correlate the content with, with the credibility of the publisher. Right, and where there is a good match between the content and the publisher credibility, it's likely that that particular uh, search result is going to show up high in the search rank. So inherently, what you're trying, what the search engine is telling you is that if you are a thought leader or you are an expert in an area and you have content, we will rank you high on Google. And I think the same logic holds true for slide share is that if you want to collect leads on SlideShare and either you are yourself a thought leader or you have thought leaders uh, within your organization or maybe you know you could, you could twist it around, you could interview some thought leaders if you don't have the thought leadership yourself. You know, a lot of people might say that, uh, you know, I, we, don't, we, don't, we are not the thought leader in our respective area, but you know, you could do things like, for example, uh, top 10 thought leaders in that particular space. So let's say you are a star in the space of uh, virtualization. You could do a top 10 uh, use cases of virtualization in the world or you could interview top 10 people. But somehow if you could create content which taps into the thought leadership or the expertise in that area, that kind of content could prove very valuable in collecting data. Because that content becomes an inherent magnet whether on SlideShare or on Google, for attracting interested people to come and view it. So that's that's you know one of the, uh, the early the, the, the straight uh, you know tips that we can give is that try to create content from thought leaders or something to do with the expertise in that area, and that content is likely to be a magnet for generating uh, business leads. <clears throat> 